good YouTube, it's your boy Reggie and welcome back to the video. Today we're starting off our first order of the day with a little bit of Senpex. Uh, we're driving about five miles away uh, for this Senpex order. I just picked it up, as y'all can see from the last clip. And it's gonna take us about, what, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to get there. Well, 17 minutes according to the GPS. But first, we have to get some gas. And I'll see you guys when I get there. So we just picked up a we just picked up a, a dispatch order, a dispatch delivery, and it seems like we're going to Brooklyn. Now, if it's one place in Miami as a delivery driver that I do not like going, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place. But Brickle, oh my god, when it comes to parking and everything like that, uh as a delivery driver going downtown in Miami, nah. That's not I'm, not, I'm not rocking with that. But anyways, uh, this order, it seems like we're picking up something small. And um, we're driving, I would say, let me see. It doesn't tell me on here, but it's a good 20 miles plus. No, I'm not taking this light, bro. Uh, yeah, it's a good 20 plus miles. So I'm, I'm heading to the pickup now. I, I'm actually pretty close to it. I'm about eight minutes away. And I'll see you guys when I get there. We just picked up what we came here for. And it's this right here. I don't want to show the front because it shows the person's name and address and everything. This is going to Brickle and we getting paid about, I think about $30 for this. Not too bad, but dispatch. I need to have a word with you, bro. Let, hold on, let me put this down. Let me. Dispatch, we need to have a word, bro. Because the last few times I've been delivering for you guys, I've had pallets that I had to keep because my delivery, um, my delivery location did not take the pallet. And I know I could submit an adjustment to get paid for disposing the pallet, but I've already submitted two adjustments on two separate occasions for a pallet disposal and I still haven't gotten paid for that yet. Before I used to get paid the same day. Um, as soon as I, I submit the adjustment paperwork, I get paid that same day. But lately, I don't know what's been going on. Y'all been, I don't know, y'all been slacking low key. I don't know what's been going on. You gotta step it up dispatch, I don't know. I'm gonna reach out to you guys cause the la and, and see what y'all say the last time I reached out. You guys said you were working on it because there's it's been a there's like a lot of um, you guys have been receiving a lot of uh, adjustment and you have to blah blah blah. I get it, but come on, bruh. I'm just now um, leaving uh, Brickle. I just delivered the, the yellow package that you guys saw 
that I had to deliver for uh, dispatch. Luckily for me, when I got there, there was a lady, a security lady, um, and she was up front. I asked her if I could park in the valet really quick so I could go up the, um, the 21st floor. She was cool with it, or else I would not have been able to find a parking. And that's one of the main reasons I hate going to Brickle with this cargo van. You feel me? But overall, it is a beautiful city. I tried to capture um, a video of me going up the elevator to the 21st floor, and the view overlooking the city oh my god but we just got a um a pickup for uh curry and we are heading to our um to the pickup location now so let's go ahead and, and wrap this up and i will see you guys at the pickup location So we just we just picked up for a curry and um, we actually um the drop off location is actually eight miles away, which is pretty good and we're getting paid about forty five dollars and the cargo in the bag weighs about two hundred and fifty pounds more or less. But um yeah eight miles forty something dollars two hundred and fifty um pounds that's a great load I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy. That. so now we're heading to drop off location and I will see you guys when I get there now before I turn this off I don't think I have to ask but I guess I have to anyways y'all do me a favor go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel if you do want to leave a comment down below leave a comment down below um, for a minute there today I thought it was gonna be a one of those slow days you know this week so far has been like you know what I'm saying I've been averaging of 150 a day but um, I haven't reached my 200 a day yet this week. Maybe on Mo I think on Monday, I I'm not too sure, but um, I just know it's been a slow week. That's what I know for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to my drop off location.
so this delivery took way way longer than i expected it to um i was at the construction site thank you sir i appreciate that I'm trying to make my i was at the construction site for a good 30 minutes just waiting on somebody to answer the phone and you know get a forklift to come to my cargo van and get that um pallet out but every time i would call the number it would go straight to voicemail and finally i got a hold of someone and it still took him a good 15 to 20 minutes to get to my um cargo van bro but anyways um i even have worse news than that my engine light came on and i actually just got accepted to do a bungee order and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it to the um to my pickup location for that bungee I'm hoping I can, which is where I'm heading to right now. And hopefully if I get there in one piece, I got to take the car to the dealership or um, whatever and see what, what the problem is now. Uh, let me show you guys the engine light really quick. I hope you guys could see that right there. So my engine light came on. I've already had too much to deal with when it comes to this cargo van. I'm hoping this issue is not a big deal and it's something minor. And if it is a big deal and they have to um, keep the car for a couple of days, that's gonna suck, bro. That's really gonna suck. But you know what? I gotta, I gotta keep my head up high and just know God is gonna make a way. That's all I'm gonna say on that when it comes to this situation right here. So I'll see you guys to the pickup location when I get there. Hopefully I get there in one piece. And I'm gonna let God lead the way, man. We just picked up um, our delivery with Bungie. Uh, you guys saw my partner helping me and all that good stuff. And this is, that's another thing I like about Bungie. If they know that the order is gonna be a little bit heavy, they give you a partner. So that's, I like that about Bungie. Now we are heading to our drop off location and it's only five miles away, which ain't bad at all. The GPS says I should be there in about 20 minutes or so. So now everything is in God's hands. I'm hoping that um, the cargo van is able to take me there. And not only that, after I get there in peace, hopefully, um, I'm able to make it to the dealership to see if they can take a look at what's going on with the cargo van. Stop sign. Turn right. Feel Turn me? So uh, I will see you guys at the drop off location. So that's about it. We uh, delivered everything. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. Now my next stop is straight to the dealership. I'm just, I'm really hoping that um, they don't, you know, they don't crush me with the price or for whatever it's gonna be. Uh, but again, everything is in God's hands, bro. So I'm gonna take everything one step at a time. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, man, this this cargo van, bro. I'm, I don't know, bro. But you know what? Like I said, like I've been doing, I'm gonna keep my head up high. I'm not gonna let me discourage me from, you know, to keep moving forward. Like we're gonna keep moving forward no matter what, man. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I'm gonna keep a smile on my face. Uh, this your boy Reggie and we ran it up today. We made about $195. I was hoping to get above that $200 mark, but today was kind of, it was a little bit slow in the morning. Then it picked up, then it got slow again in the mid afternoon. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This your boy Reggie, man, and we ran it up today, man. Even though we have all the reasons to keep our head down and be sad and be whatever, but you know what? Nah. We ain't gonna do that. We gonna be good. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you do want to leave a comment down below, leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. And we are out.